Wisconsin's here in the Sun Coast a very Merry Christmas. Go ahead, Bobeth. That's right. The Angel program is very popular with those needing help putting gifts under their tree this holiday season because it pairs those wanting gifts with those willing to donate. But not everyone is so happy with the process. I have happy meal toys from McDonald's. One stocking to share with three boys. <laughs> and as you see here, here are the bags for the kids. Monica Brown is one of more than 600 families who signed up with the Salvation Army's Angel Tree program because she couldn't afford to buy gifts for her family. And while she says she's happy to get gifts, she says the items she received put tears in her eyes. I'm hurt more than anything. Um, I just know it could have been better. Monica received two McDonald's Happy Meal toys, a stocking filled with trinkets, and three bags filled with items like a coloring book, a shirt, and a football. I really don't have and extra money, you know, to make Christmas happen. And I kind of, you know, depend on things like this because it's crazy. When I was there, I overheard there were over, uh, I f over 200 bicycles there. <laughs> and my kids didn't even get one. So we took Monica's concerns to the Salvation Army, and they say their organization doesn't decide what each child receives. We don't exchange the items from the bags that the donors have brought a bag in. We don't change it out so that they get something specific that we think they should have. It's up to the donor to that purchases the gifts for that child as to what they provide. Captain Jim Spencer is the director of the Angel Tree program, and he says once a family is paired with a donor, that donor can purchase whatever they're willing to donate. It's difficult here because parents, as we're taking the gifts out to the car, are seeing that other children are getting bikes, but their children are not. And it comes down to simple things like perhaps they didn't request a bike or the donor that purchased a gift for their child didn't have the funding to be able to purchase a bike for their child. Captain Spencer says their goal is to give those who wouldn't otherwise get a gift something to put under their tree. Some families that come to us would not have any gifts for their children if they weren't able to be able to register and receive gifts from the Salvation Army and the members of the community. And so that gives them something to have rather than nothing on Christmas morning. My kids, they okay with what they get. It don't have to be expensive or anything, but they're gonna look at this and be like, you know, I mean, that's it. There's, there's, there's nothing to really put a smile on their face.